Hello everyone, welcome back to Deptamine. In this video, I'm going to talk about why programming is dead and programmer is done. There is a new that 25% of Google code is generated by AI. See, there is a lot of new this topic, AI write over 25% of code at Google. Imagine that you are the 25%, that means you're gonna lose the job. So the solution for every programmer is to use AI, is to learn how to use AI. It's really important in this era. You don't need to learn the code step by step, you know. It is really important that you know the fundamental, but when you know the fundamental, you can use AI to help you to write a powerful code. And we see a lot of new, like Google CEO say over 25% of new Google code is generated by AI. This is real you know it's coming ai is coming we cannot deny that we cannot use ai to help us code and in this project i use chat gpt to code for me 100 percent and it's do pretty good it's do perfectly for example let me show you what my project is my project is like i need to get a subtitle files from wsl for my youtube videos I know that YouTube have the feature that can generate a subtitle automatically, but honestly, it sucks. And the best model for speech to text right now is Whisper from OpenAI. Here, it's a Whisper OpenAI is the best model uh, for uh, converse speech to text right now. And I asked ChatGPT to generate Python code for me. Here, what I get. So. The question I asked ChatGPT, I need to use Python to create a software uh, that create a subtitle.str from a video and the software view has GUI or GUI. And then it start code for me. I know nothing about Python, but I have some background in Java and PHP. So I can understand almost like 30% of Python code. And I understand here and I copy this code and then I run this code on Windows. And let's see what I get over here. Python, Py GUI, this is only the file's name, mp4-2 srt.python. Okay. And let's see the application that AI generate for me. See, I got GUI, see, generate subtitle over here. Let me explain you. Over here, I uh, it's use the library that I don't like, which is MoviePy, and I tell it to change to subprocess. I don't want to use a lot of uh, library outside because I don't want to perform pipe install, blah blah blah. You know, it's just use a uh, subprocess, and then it's give me this code, and I really like this code. And it's even tell me that I have to install OpenAI Whisper. And then when I have an error, I just copy the error and tell it this is the error. And it's just tell me, oh, it's, it's only the warning and here how you can eliminate the warning. And I tell it when I run this software, I cannot close it. This is the bug in the software. And then it's tell me how to fix this one is use a dialog box to fix this problem. Okay. And let's, let's take a look at the program again. Okay. This is the program. Okay. It's is used to generate subtitle and it's used a whisper uh, model is really good and whisper model is a, a small model and it's free it can run on your local machine okay let me go up here go up here and go to c drive and then user and alex and desktop I'm going to pick this file WSL that I just upload to Deptamine YouTube channels. And over here, see, I just click on it, open, and it asks me save subtitle files. Where do I want to save it? I, want, I just want to save on desktop. And I see WSL dot subtitle files and I hit save. You see, it's it's running right now the code is running and see subtitle file created successfully and you see subtitle files over here click ok let's take a look at subtitle files let's open it with visual studio code okay let's drag and drop it over here see it's really good english is not my first language but it can understand almost 90 percent of my accent and 
it's pretty accurate. The accuracy of 90%, I think, is acceptable compared to other kind of software like Google or any kind of software. Okay, let me open this uh, subtitle file with videos. Let me open videos first with VLC. So it's automatically add a uh, subtitle for me, but if it doesn't add the subtitle, you just come here and add the subtitle. You will see the subtitle over here. I'm going to mute and you, you're you gonna see that the subtitle is really accurate. You scroll down, there's two options that you have to enable. The first one is uh, is a virtual machine platform. So because my computer has enabled it by default, if your computer has not enabled it, you have to enable it by check on it. You can see that it works really good. And I even tell ChatGPT right over here, I need you to help to change this code. It's actually generate to SRT. I want it to generate to text, right? So I want to generate this video to text instead of STR. Okay, let me close this one and show you another application. Okay, the other application is the same application, but is generate to text instead of SRT. Okay, this, um, I forget to type Python. See, my Python skill is not perfect at all. Okay, generate to text, okay. And I go back to root directory and go to C drive and then go to user and then Alex and go to desktop okay and open these files again and I will save these files on desktop and just be WSL underscore text okay and it's so progress right now but the progress doesn't work perfectly so I have to tell it to tune it a little bit you know it's so progress but the progress doesn't show anything you know it's the progress doesn't update at all but it's okay we can tell it we can fix this later on and let's see how it works the text files created successfully okay we get WSL text over here and let me open these files with uh, Visual Studio Code okay you see all the script from my video has been generated by AI and Python on my local machine and it's worked perfectly. Let me copy this code and let me go back to ChatGPT and let me create new chat. I want a YouTube video title from this script. Okay, and I hit enter. Okay. See, it generate uh, the title for me, how to install and use WSL2 on Windows 11, a step-by-step -step guide. I don't like it. Give me 10 title. Okay. You don't have to be good at English to tell ChatGPT what you want from it. See, it skip me. But let's see, let's take a look at the video that I upload. So the title that I just used for that video, here is the title that I used for that video. How to install Linux on Windows 11 with WSL for beginner. And let's see, it's how to set up Windows subsystem on Windows 11. So it's pretty similar. It's quite similar. It's really good. So and how about if I want to generate a description? So please give me YouTube video description. I hit enter. See, description, I just copy and paste. Okay, let's give me, give me tag. See, if we give you tag, so you just copy this one and put on YouTube studio. See, let me show you over here. When you put tag on video, it will be good for uh, SEO, right? Over here, right? Uh, and detail. When you upload the video, you can... This, this description is generated by ChatGPT. And this tag is generated by ChatGPT as well. You just copy this and paste it over there. 
and then it's done. So how do you think? It's worked really great over here. And another uh, idea that I come up with, because I have a lot of comments that people cannot understand my English, right? My English is bad and people say like that. So I tell ChatGPT to generate this script for me. Uh, the first script is to uh, get my video, right? And then generate is to JSON. Okay, then with timestamp is generate JSON with timestamp, right? At this timestamp, I speak hello, welcome to Alex interface, blah, 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 blah. And at this time, lie is mute. And, and this time lie is start speaking again. I start speaking. This is my video, right? Let me show you. Okay, let me open here. Hello everyone, welcome to Alex Interface. We are diving into the world of mutual fund. And let me see object uh, mutual thousand. Fund see. I have invested. I have invested and then I mute. Interest rate is high and mutual fund is a good place to save money. The next step, what I'm going to do, I want to dub myself, right? And and you see the there is the collapse between time and I tell uh, ChatGPT, can you generate the code that's uh, help to solve this problem, like the merge, uh, the time collapse, and it's generate me this code. And then I get this one, and we don't see the time collapse anymore. You see, start from seven, and then end at 10, and then start at 10, end at 10. And when you look at over here, you see this one start at seven, end at 10, but then this one start at nine. So there, there is the collapse between uh, time line. And I get this object is pretty clean, right? And then I tell it to generate uh, these two voice, okay? Generate these two audio. And let's see, let's take a look where I put it. It's best work over here. So I come with this code. Okay, I come with this code. I tell it to generate for me this one, JSON to audio, right? We got the JSON files over here and we generate this to audio. Let me run this file. Okay, let me close this one. CD, okay. And then let me clear this one and then let me type Python and I wanna run JSON underscore to audio wave dot Python hit enter if you ask me what kind of transcript I want to generate so let's go with this okay let's go with this one okay I'm going to type the file name m.json and the output let's put output dot mb3 name is whatever I want I just hit enter and then I get the output we have two output over here, output mp3 and output wave. This code generated by ChatGPT 100%. Hello Let's see. everyone. Welcome to Alex Interface. We are diving into the world of mutual fund. And you will see mu. See? The mutual fund that I have invested in. This video take for like 15 seconds, but this audio is like 18 seconds. Is It has some lag, you know, but I can edit it on like Premiere Pro or Camtasia's video editor, okay? It's okay. I don't really like the the, the voice. See? Hello everyone. It's Sal Robot. There, there is a model that I can use, which is Eleven Lab. Uh, you can use this model to clone your voice and it's, it's really good. You can use it to clone your voice. I tell ChatGPT to write this code for me. Can you use like 11 lab API to generate my JSON object to audios? And then it's generate for me. And let's see, let's uh, listen to, to the files that I get over here. See, it's 15 seconds and the original video is 15 seconds. And let's, let's listen to the files that I get. Hello here. everyone, welcome to Alex Interface. We are diving into the world of mutual fund. And let's uh, take a look at the original the mutual fund that I have invested in. Welcome to Alex Interface. We are diving. Interest rate is high, and a mutual fund is a good place to save. This is money. our AI, right? This is me. 
Hello everyone, welcome to Alex Interface. See, guys it's really know? similar. I mean, it's like 80% similar. It have the tone of my voice, my accents, but I will say that AI is better than me in terms of articulation. Hello everyone, welcome See? to Alex Interface. We are diving into the... Let's, let's take a look at the original. Hello everyone, welcome to Alex Interface. We are diving... See? See, you see, I use AI to code this script and this software for me 100% and I don't even know Python, but I can do it. So programming is dead, guys. I can use ChatGP to generate 100% of code, of production code for me and it's work. I just know a little bit of Python and I can run the application that helped me solve the problem. All right, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe.